Point being, you want controlled removal of the machine from underneath the cow and out of the way into the rest position. Let's take a look exactly how that works with arm takeoffs and without arm takeoffs. For example, here's one situation. This cow milked out, we shut the vacuum off, but then the chain pulled just a second too slow. And look what happened. Two teeth cups clunk on the floor because there is no control over how the claw is moved. On the other hand, here's what happens if there is an arm. The claw falls off, then gets caught by the arm. The teeth cups fall over real nice, and now very smooth, we move the claw out of the way into the rest position. In this particular aspect of moving the claw from underneath the cow over to the rest position, no arm takeoffs are not a total disaster. I mean, let's not kid each other. There are thousands of takeoffs. There are thousands of dairies out there milking with no arm takeoffs, and very successfully so. It's a fact of life. At the same time, why not do it right? See, here's a parlor with a typical sequence of what happens when the claw comes off the udder and over into the rest position. Take a look at it for a second. Major problem? No, not really. But is this what you want your operation to look like? Instead of this? Quite a bit nicer, isn't it? It's the difference between an okay way of going about it and the right way of getting the job done.